Welcome everybody. Today we're just going to do a quick video on homemade french fries and the Ninja Foodie Grill. Come on over and let's get started. <laughs> So we're just going to jump right in. I've already peeled two russet potatoes. They've been soaking just for a little bit in some uh, cold water. I just put a paper towel there just to catch the water. Let's start with this lovely one. I did weigh both of these potatoes. They weigh 2.5 pounds or 1.054 kilograms or 1,054 grams. So it's peeled, I picked out all the brown spots. If you see anything else right now, you can take the black marks, brown marks, or anything else that you want to take off. And what I like to do, I'm just going to cut this right down the center. And we're just going to cut this into thicknesses and lengths like this. If you have a french fry cutter, go ahead and use it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them here. And this makes beautiful french fries. They're like super long. And we're going to make one more cut right there. And look at these gorgeous, gorgeous french fries. Look at the size of these guys. Yes, it's not perfect, but they're kind of, we will call these rusticated french fries. This is a rustic look. It's not perfect, but it works. And, you know, I don't want to throw this out either, so we just make quick work of this and chop these guys up. This is what it looks like when they're all chopped. I just like to separate them. This is ice cold water I'm putting them in. They're all different sizes and shapes. You try to get them as uniform as you can, but it's kind of nice having some really, really brown, crispy ones. And the water is already starting to get cloudy. And that just tells me that the starch is coming out of these fries. So what I like to do, I like to soak these for like at least an hour. Um, you can go longer than that. I've also gone overnight. I never really had to worry about browning. And one more thing I didn't tell you, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go over to the sink, drain this water out because it caught a lot of the starch, and put fresh clean water in. We're going to set these to the side and we're going to make a sauce for the french fries. To make that sauce, I know, I think, I think it's Heinz. I think Heinz finally came out with the sauce that people have been using for years. And for this amount, I'm going to put in, that's probably like a half a cup of mayo right there. I'm also going to add ketchup. You use your ketchup of choice. We like Heinz in this house. And I usually just eyeball it. And all you're going to do is just whisk this together. Just take a taste test. I usually try to do equal parts mayonnaise to equal parts ketchup. All I'm going to do is put a piece of saran wrap on that and we're just going to pop it in the fridge. So what I like to do next is, after these have soaked for at least an hour, you're going to take those fries and you're going to put them on a paper towel lined counter. I'm just using a whoops, I'm just using a quarter sheet tray to dry these fries. You want these as dry as you can get them. I use paper towels. You can use kitchen towels if you want to be more environmentally friendly. Use whatever you have and you want these to be as dry as you can possibly get them. Now this is two and a half pounds of potatoes. Now I think, I do believe the max is two pounds in this basket. Now, I have tried cooking two pounds of homemade fries in this basket. It's not going to work. Um, what ends up happening is that the tips get brown, the ones that are sticking out that actually uh, get the heat. It just, it doesn't work. I've tried it, I've tried it. So we're just going to take half, half of that, which is probably like a little, you know, a little over a pound. But this is a good amount of fries right here. You're just going to take those homemade fries that are going to be so delicious. Oh, you guys won't believe this. It's wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and spray some avocado oil on these fries. Next, you're going to grab some kosher salt. And it seems like there's a lot of salt, but it's really not. Potatoes require a lot of salt. And I'm just going to put some fresh black pepper on these fries. And just take your hand and you're just going to combine these fries with the oil, with the salt, and the pepper. I think it makes a really nice fry. Now if you think your fries are a little dry, like they need more oil, and you're going to spray them down again and just give them a toss. 
The fries are all set. They have oil, salt, and pepper on them, and we're going to put them into the Ninja Foodie Grill. You're going to make sure your ceramic pan is in and your air crisp basket and your mesh shield that goes on the top of the heating element. You're just going to go ahead and pour your fries right in there. Go ahead and close the lid and turn your, nin your Ninja Foodie Grill on. Choose air crisp. We're going to keep it on 390 and we're going to hit start. Now it's going to go ahead and preheat, but to skip this step so I can keep track of the time, which I prefer, you're going to hit air crisp again. It's going to say add food. You're going to pop the top, lower it, defaults to 20 minutes. We're going to keep it on the 20 minutes and I'm going to check these in probably like six or seven minutes. I was a little late to the party here. 10 minutes have gone by. I just want to look at these French fries. They're coming up nicely. Now sometimes you want to be gentle with these fries because they will break in half. Just try to separate them as best you can. Make sure they're not stacked on top of one another. Go ahead and lower the lid and we're going to let these cook. I'm going to check them probably in five minutes. All right, so we have about five minutes left. Woo! These fries look so good. And do you hear that? Listen. They are crispy, crispy, crispy. So these cooked for probably a total of 17 minutes and change. So I would probably just say these took 18 minutes to cook at 390 degrees. Yum! Time for that taste test. Look at these beautiful fries. Mayo and ketchup mixed together. One of the best things in the whole wide world. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. These fries are delicious. So good. Mmm. Sorry. Oh, I double dipped. Whoopsies. Thank you so much for watching. This is just a quick video on how to make homemade french fries in your Ninja Foodie grill. It can also be done in the Ninja Foodie. I'll put a link up there to that video. And you know something? I appreciate all my viewers. Thank you so much. Take care.